I'm going to very quickly, because he's been waiting patiently, and I know he wants to talk on this topic, bringing in chunks of Earth. As I do so, can I just uh, mention something which I was supposed to mention at the beginning of the show, and I totally forgot. Um, Together for Peace, who's uh, been taking a break from uh, YouTube uh, for six months or so, I think, um, has um, reappeared, and I uh, exchanged a few messages with him yesterday. He, um, as a result of our last Magic Sandwich show, um, was the winning bidder for a two-hour blog TV program uh, with me. And um, we have penciled in Saturday the 9th of June for that discussion to take place. Um, It is penciled in. We haven't figured out a time yet, but uh, we'll keep you updated. I also wanted to mention that because um, the Magic Sandwich... uh, Sorry. The MSF, Médecins Sans Frontières, Doctors Without Border event this year um, will be taking place over the weekend of the 8th and 9th of September. Um, So we shall keep you informed. One thing I am acutely aware of is that people do seem to get a little bit irritated with constant video reminders that the event is taking place. So um, we're going to try and keep all the advertising and updates on that event uh, on on, on a web page. but I'll, I'll bring you up to speed um, nearer the time. Uh, but as I say, uh, June the 9th, it looks like um, Jack and I will be together uh, on Blog TV. And if you're not familiar with Jack, Together for Peace, um, he and I have had many, many exchanges, often heated and emotional. Uh, but I, I don't know. There's something about Jack I respect and I do like him. I think he's a, he's a decent person and hopefully we'll have some sort of constructive dialogue in a, in a few weeks' time. Anyway... Let's bring in Chunks of Earth. Hello. Can you hear me? I got the show muted, so I'm not yes, sure. Yes, we can hear you perfectly. Up. And I apologize. We're going to have to be somewhat quick. So if you could cut to the chase. No, it's, it's okay. I was just trying to fill some, some time. Um, there were just a few points that I wanted to bring up because I get frustrated when I listen to these interesting attempts at debate. And what I've noticed over the years is that I'm a product of the 70s, but in the 80s, we had the Nike generation, which was just do it. And I felt that that was the turning point where people stopped focusing on truth and actually getting information, and they switched over to just getting enough stuff in your head that makes you feel good. And people are very resistant to to being right. Like, I would rather be sad and right than wrong and happy. Just that's personal, and it seems to be a very, very small percentage of people that have embraced that. Um, the second thing I wanted to mention is that when, when you talk about people like William Lane Craig and, and others that are fully invested in the creationist mentality and mindset, that all their profits come from, from what they say, and they are fully invested in that, that they can never, ever admit any type of irregularity because their whole life is based in that concept. So you'll never get them to, to come around to your way of thinking because they're too far that they, it's just incapable of saying, you know what, you're right, I never thought of that. Um, and the last thing I wanted to, to mention real quick, because we're, we're going fast, is that when people say things like atheists have no morals, and that all we want to, you know, we, we would kill people if it wasn't illegal and stuff, I get very upset at that, and I want to know where that information is being spread, because I'm one of the nicest guys that I know. I'm always looking to help others, because I have a humanist perspective, like Concordance was saying, and, and Mr. Payton. We do things because we recognize the empathy and compassion that we would expect, and we want to give that to others. And, and our belief in invisible friends has nothing to do with it. We don't, I think we, we don't require on that. this question on the last show, but I, 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 because I think it's a very good question, and it's one that really frustrates me, I'm going to ask a one, because of time constraints, a one-sentence answer from each of the panelists in response to the argument, atheism has no morals, or without God you can have no morality. One sentence, sound by answer. Um, Unfair, I know, but I'm going to pick on Michael to go first. We'll go Michael Concordance Thunder. Okay. Supernaturalism doesn't add anything to being good or having a good life. Concordance. It's not your atheism that determines... It's not your atheism or non-atheism that determines how you act. It's, It's your humanity and your inner sense of what is good. Thunder. The statement is without merit. Back to you, Charles. <laughs> You've got your answers there. I've never known the panel be so succinct. Thank you. 
Sounds um, to you. And the final thing, anybody that says that they know what God is thinking, the Bible says that there's no way of knowing God's mind. So I immediately dismiss anybody that believes they're interpreting something through someone you cannot know. This is an argument that I intend to use somewhere in one of the forthcoming videos, uh, very much along that point. There are those that claim to know the mind of God and can tell you exactly what he's thinking about who you should sleep with and in what position and so, so on and so forth. And yet when it comes to odd things like earthquakes and famines and everything, they suddenly say, oh, well, we're not to know the mind of God. He works in mysterious ways. Anyone else want to comment on that? Wow, you've silenced the panel, uh, Chunks, which is a rare thing. I uh, shall uh, return. I've got, yeah, I mean, it really is. I've got nothing to add to it. It's spot on. Um, Chunks, I apologize for me removing you so uh, quickly. I am going to do, just uh, almost as a joke, because it's, it's become a meme, I'm going to try and bring in Aaron Ra ha 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 just to see how much of a failure this is going to be. And shortly we'll be closing down and uh, joining you again in a couple of weeks' time. But... Here we go. Uh, and the hair dryer is in town. Excuse me? The hair dryer, can you hear me okay? Wow. I think you've got about one minute. How Hang can on. I help you? In, in, between, in between making the phone calls next to your microphone and, uh, and the hair dryer. Yeah. We have Aaron ha ha ha. Ha uh, ha ha. Aaron ha. Yeah, Aaron Ra, ha, 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 ha. Yeah, cut to the chase, Andy. Yeah, ha, ha, Aaron Ra. Where's Aaron Ra today? My, um... Cut to the chase, you've got one minute. Right. Oh, what? I can't do this all in one minute. All right, Thunderfoot, a uh, question for you, sir. Um, I've seen a lot of your videos. I must say they're, they're some of them are very good, actually. A few things which uh, I need to pick up on, though. Um, you always seem to pick on the negative parts in the Bible... Any idea why? Any reason why you pick on the negative bits rather than the good bits? Obviously, those are the parts that are detrimental to society. Using what morals, though? Using your own morals? No, uh, using... Um, oh, this is going, going to get back into the, the, the morality thing. But the, the, there, are, there are tears to it. There are things that are biological necessity, there are things that are cultural... And there are things that don't really matter. If you choose things like uh, don't kill your children, there's nothing about that in the Bible. So according to the Bible, you would have no way of knowing whether killing or cutting the arms off your children is good or bad. You have no idea whether that would be moral if you actually... Let me tell you right now, Thunder. Well, Andy, let me, let me, let me try, because we are going to wrap up very, very quickly. So I'm, I'll leave you with the let last... The I'll address this question, if you can. Yeah. Do you think that paedophilia is wrong? And if so, why? Because it doesn't say anything about that in the Bible. So where it's, do you get that morality, morality from? It's wrong. Paedophilia is absolutely wrong. Why? Because something inside me tells me that, that it's disgusting. So it's not from the Bible. So your, your so moral values Bible do not, not come from the Bible. <laughs> Thank you. If, if God said that paedophilia was good, I would say, sorry, but you're not the God I want to worship. There you go. I think that says so much. Thank you. But if, if so God doesn't... Agree with you, but do call back next week. Um, it would have been nice to carry on that conversation, but we are over at half an hour overrun. So, last words from everyone, and then I'll wrap it up. Thunder, you wanted to say something? Uh, no, it's, it's in relation to the last call. doesn't matter. Yeah. Uh, Michael, can I thank you very much indeed for step, stepping in at the last moment, and it's always a pleasure to have you and your contribution, certainly so far as I'm concerned. Um, very much appreciated, and I'm sure you'll get a huge thumbs up um, from the people in the chat as well. Uh, any last words? Uh, is he gone? Frozen? Have we lost Michael? Well, history records that you're getting a lot of thumbs up. Concordance. Uh, I don't have anything to add, but um, since we already have a street... Oh, we have one down. Okay. Um, thumbs up for DPR Jones. That's my last comment. Oh, you'll make me blush. Thank you very much indeed. Again, thanks to Cream for doing the banner. Thanks uh, to Tony working away as ever behind the scenes. Um, 
Huge respect to uh, you. Thank you to everyone that's called in and thank you to all those that have turned up and uh, watched. All those that are watching when these are subsequently posted on YouTube. We will be back with you in a couple of weeks' time.